Hello everyone, my name is Redsnick and welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 playthrough. We're on New Game Plus and currently in Garen Keep and I'm going to defeat some red phantoms that aren't here in my first playthrough, so yeah. This one is... I don't know why the guy there is totally harmless, he can't do anything unless you go down a ladder and he surprises you, but you see him from far away, he's a red phantom, come on. And yeah, I just shot him with arrows. So, this one almost surprised me and I saw him in the last second and could pull him if you just walk in there. Well, I think they're going to rape you both. So, yeah, I actually wanted to fight him in a better place, but he didn't want to. So, he made my life easier, so. Finding one guy is easier, even though he does a lot of damage. But you can backstab him and then Estus and do the same thing again. And then he isn't that hard anymore. This one over here can also surprise you. It's right after you grab the ember. But he's also red. As long as you pay attention, these guys won't surprise you. Because the heal them spawn, like we saw in the last episode. to summon Lucatil again and fight our smelter demon. That guy I had so many problems with in my first playthrough when I fought him alone but that doesn't really matter with this fight and now look what happens. I almost died in the first place because I forgot about that attack. before you get the black knight weapon and they give you like no place to find him but we've seen a new attack I haven't seen before he can push your shield with his hands before drawing his weapon and yeah come on we're going to circle here a little bit and find him wow these guys would be really hard if they 
have their weapons in their hand all the time because they do so much fucking damage. But that's a cheesy thing to do, so I stop and simply backstep them. And yeah, don't use the Locks on here because it's just a healing fountain. And yeah, there's one more guy up there that shows some Europe's down, so I think we're there. But now, this guy I'm close. And he's on the ladder beneath the next bonfire, and he did quite a lot of damage to me. And that's why the NPC phantoms are the hard part of Alien Plus because this guy is fucking wrecking me. He has infinite stamina and infinite poise and I don't know, almost one shots me. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah, let's die one more time and uh, enjoy the way I beat him. only beat him when he smashed his hammer on the ground unless he recovers way too quick. But now let's beat when that's the reincarnation of Quinn or something that used the soul or the Iron King that went mad and consumed one soul. Something like that because he robs another old Dark Souls one boss soul. And yeah, this fight is pretty simple. I don't know if he's more vulnerable to lightning damage or magic damage, but fire doesn't cause no work. So I'm uh, trying magic and it seems kind of right, just shouldn't get hit there. Dodge's attacks is pretty slow attacks and it's very easy to get there. Getting back there. And to get it again, so going back again. Healed just because we had time. And you can hit him while he's doing that, but it's risky. But the same thing as before again. And now he's 
doing it with both hands. And I just could go out of the way so I just know. And it's almost there. Dead. Doing the fire breath right now, so hey, I can use my bow and kill him. And this way. His death animation actually matches to the way he died. So that's already it for this episode. And the next episode we will defeat the last one of those four guys. See you next time.